Oi cunt, you want to know how to play PlayStation 1 games on your Android smartphone or Android tablet? I'm going to show you how to do it. Open up your Play Store. Search for Dig Front End Emulator. Install that. You're also going to need RetroArch. And you're also going to need another program called 7-Zipper. Alright, wait for these motherfuckers to finish downloading, and we'll be right back. Alright, now that you've got Dig RetroArch and 7-Zipper installed, you're going to need some ROMs. So I'll show you where to get them from. Open up Chrome. Go to coolroms.com. I've downloaded Breath of Fire already, just so I can show you guys what's going on and how we do this shit. Breath of Fire is one of the best RPG games ever made for PlayStation 1, so if you're going to do this, I suggest you guys check that game out because it's fucking awesome. Alright, on to the next part. Open up Dig. allow all the access and stuff, it's going to do its little completing installation thing. Only takes a second. Alright, now it's going to scan for some ROMs. Look at that, it's already found them. PlayStation ROMs come down usually as like a bunch of different files, but it's okay because as you see there, it automatically merged them into one file, which is great. Now you want to go into the app, no, game covers, sorry, and you want to download over Wi-Fi only and turn that one off, unless you want to download over Wi-Fi only, but I don't see why you would. All right, now when we go back into the games, look at that, it's loaded up the cover art and everything. All right, now let's load up the game. Now, a message pops up and it says, the core for RetroArch PC SX Rearmed may not be installed. So, launch RetroArch, so you can install it now, hit OK. Now you want to allow all the access. It's doing its first time setup, happens real quick, as you can see. Now you want to load core, hit download core. Scroll down to the PlayStation, the PlayStation cores. Alright, now you need to download Sony PlayStation PCSX Rearmed. So there we go, it's downloading, it only takes a second. So now we can close this back down. Open up your dig. Front end emulator. Now, launch track one. Alright, give it a few seconds to load. And here we go, we're playing PlayStation 1 on our smartphone or tablet. How fucking rad is that? Alright, let's start a new game and uh, record some of the gameplay footage and see how smooth it runs. The sound and everything is sounding really good. It's running nice and smooth. I'll just turn up the sound for a second so you guys can hear it. Okay guys, I've just uh, skipped to a part where we actually got some sound playing in the game. So I'm going to turn it up so you guys can have a listen.
right, so now you can see the sound quality is freaking awesome, but there's still one more thing missing. I'm going to show you how to load it up so it looks like we're playing it on an old CRT monitor. What you want to do is hit the middle icon that looks like a little space invader. Scroll down, no, hit quick menu, scroll down to shaders. Load shader preset. Go down to CRT. And load up one of the CRT potatoes, cool or warm, doesn't matter which one. I'm going to go for cool. And now you can see, it looks like we're playing it on one of the old CRT monitors, just like on TV. It's running super smooth. Now, if you do want to keep this setting and have it looking like you're playing it on a CRT monitor, hit that little icon again, go back to your quick menu, go to shaders, and you want to save core preset. All right, hope you guys found that video helpful. If you need any more questions answered, just leave them in the comments. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.